Yeah, man. Like, there's a real movement right now towards minimalism, or where people are trying to pare their life down as much as possible. Yeah, I think people don't want to get involved with like banks and fucking having to like mortgage themselves and their their lifestyle just for the sake of like having things. Yep. When they're like, and so they get into like stuff like camping and hiking. Well, it's also you got to think like, what do you really appreciate? What's important to you? Like, what's really important to you? Yeah. Because you don't have forever, right? So what is important to you? Because you only have 24 hours in a day. So what's important to you? Find out what the fuck that is and do more of that. Yeah. And try to figure out, like, how to how to make enough money so that you're not starving, that you're doing well. Yeah. But don't just chase that. Chase what you're trying to do. Like, the, the point system attached to it, the monetary point system... It can get you all fucked up because it'll get you t working like 12 hours a day, 13 know, hours a to day. To get what? To get more stuff. To get better stuff. To get more prestigious stuff. To get stuff that, you know, all your other stuff having friends are really jealous of your stuff. <laughs> yeah, you're just going to die, bro. And it's not even long term. I mean, like, what are you getting out of it now? That's, that's what, what I meant. That's what's so, most important. A, yeah, a ton of people that are like, I don't want that shit. So I'm just going to do a job, you know, working on a tugboat in Seattle for a few months, save up money, and then go fucking enjoy myself yeah yeah there's a lot of people that are just t choosing to look at everything that they can see experienced yeah. every new place that they can go to that Henry Rollins podcast man it's a world changer yeah that crazy fucker yeah, he he's fascinating yeah he's a fast I never met anybody like him he's really fascinating yeah, he goes and like does stuff and see stuff I met a bunch of people doing gap years what's a gap year yeah exactly what's a gap year it's all over every other country just not ours What's that mean? In between high school and college. You're leaving your friends. You're about to make new friends. Oh, take Get a year Get out here off. for a year. In between college and grad school or college and, and, and your first year of work. A now's the time. Year. Well, European countries have a point in this more relaxed approach. Yeah. To like the future and your life. Yeah. They really do. This, this conqueror's mentality. I wonder how many heart attacks we have in comparison to European people. I don't know. But it's like we're not living our lives. You know, Germans get off. How many? Are you familiar with the uh, vacation time leave in America? What is it? It's two weeks, pretty much. That's everywhere. it. Two weeks vacation, two weeks sick. Do you get paid vacation? Paid vacation, two okay. weeks. Okay, so that's standard. Yeah, that's a standard. Okay, that's nine to five thirty. You know, um, in Germany and most of Europe, definitely all of Scandinavia, you get twenty-five days off, five Jesus. weeks. Jesus. And and if you get sick during those weeks off. If you had to go to a hospital in, in wherever country you're in and you show them I was in a hospital, you get those days back. They'll count against your sick time instead. Hmm. And they expect you to take the, 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 the vacation time too. Not mm -hmm. like here with like, come on, you can't really use it. You know what's fucked up? What? Sick time. Like I, I ran out of sick days. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like what? What do you mean? You're sick. Like you're sick. Yeah. <laughs> like either you're a fucking liar or I trust you. Yeah. <laughs> now, if I trust you, you're just really unfortunate. And if I love you and we're friends and we work together... Um, I want you to get better. Yeah, sucks, I don't want you to mono, say, so okay. Yeah, you you don't have to come back to work because you know yeah, you already used up your fourteen days. <laughs> like you get exactly sick the same amount of time every year too. Yeah, like, can you imagine telling somebody, like, hey, buddy, you're out of sick days. I'm gonna have to dock your pay. And you, you're dying. What? I can't breathe. <laughs> you, got, you want IVs and shit? I don't care. You're out of sick well, days. The calendar doesn't say that. Doesn't back you up on that. Uh, the statistics say in order to keep revenue flowing, <laughs> we must keep you in the process. Yeah. What? You have a certain amount of days you're allowed to be sick. That's fucking ridiculous. Like, hopefully there'll be zero. Well, I'm saving up my sick days. What? You save up your sick days. What does that mean? Like, so your, your sick days car <laughs> carry over? Yeah, exactly. So you get extra days where you can pretend you're sick? You can, no, you can't save up sick days. You can save up vacation days, but oh, I don't think you can save up? up sick days. should be able to. You should my be. Days. I, I didn't should be get able to sick. move them around like cards. At least give you half of them back. <laughs> I people, took four. I have ten left over. Give me five for next year. People with real jobs are so mad at us right now. Yeah. Like, you motherfuckers don't know shit about <laughs> sick days or work days to be under the thumb of an oppressive dictator. I'm saying it's terrible. Yeah. Oh, with yeah. This expectation that you never take off. You have to pour your whole life into that shit. And it's like, oh, man, go but, do uh, some stuff. Okay, let me play devil's advocate because if I was one of the people out there that likes to complain about shit, I'd be like, that's easy for you to say, Ari, you haven't had a job. You don't have the responsibilities I have. Yeah, that's true. All right, I'll be quiet in the podcast. No, no, no. 
I'm saying though, they demand better. They get it better in other places. They absolutely should. There's first an expectation of all, that you go fucking see the world and go do stuff. Or Forty go hour build a week yacht. work week is bullshit. It's bullshit. It's You're not bullshit. productive at that, that that level. Nobody should do it. it and it shouldn't be standard. Everyone has to do the same amount. Unless I want to buy something that you make, then could you please like get Real everybody to do time. overtime yeah, yeah, and, yeah. <laughs> and uh, put in a night shift yeah. and give people uh, p time and a half for overtime so you encourage them to go overtime? Yeah, time and a half. You can get out of the mindset of having to work this time and just demand something better or more interesting for your life. Well, it's just a weird standard that we've all accepted pretty much across the country. Nine to five, nine yeah. to five, nine to five. It's morning, nine Sam. To five. Morning, Bob. Nine to five. It's nine to five thirty or six. Oh, yeah. If you want to oh, take a lunch break, uh, you well, don't get paid for that anymore. You don't? No, it's not nine to five anymore. Is that Trump? Did he do this? No, no. It's, <laughs> Trump. it's been a long time. <laughs> nine to five. It's nine bullshit. To five, nine to five. Could you imagine? What a weird, weird decision to make the most significant thing be the productivity. It's brave the new amount world. Of money. Who, where's that horn going off, young Jamie? You hear that? Is it in the back? Just give it a little double check. Go out there with the baseball bat. Tell him to shut the fuck up. But Just, like, walk towards the him aggressively. The move is walk out there with your dick in your hand. That way you startle anyone you see and you always have the first move yeah exactly they're the reaction oh, yeah, to you yeah. now like this guy's crazy he came out with his dick out yeah like if you if you're getting ready to fight and you just come out holding on to your dick people are like whoa what's he planning a lot of people would back down from that fight a lot of people wouldn't a lot people of people might not people would be worried that dick would touch you but once it did touch you we'd realize it really doesn't do anything it's okay <laughs> that'd be the chief thing like, people would have to like lean back with their hands forward yeah. to try to get like, Once, as if your punches don't matter, but the dick touching you does. Yeah, like he's going to touch you and give you cooties. Yeah. He's going to zap you. <laughs> <laughs> it's got like an electric yield dick.